2009 swine flu pandemic in Costa Rica. In March and April 2009, an outbreak of a new strain of flu also known as influenza, popularly known as swine flu, was discovered to have infected several people in Mexico and the states of California and Texas in the United States. On April 28, Costa Rica became the first Central American country. As of November 4, the Costa Rican Ministry of Health had 1596 confirmed cases, 1275 pending cases, 8,000 already discarded, and 38 deaths. On July 31, local authorities announced that the country was selected among the sample countries that will be part of the test of the vaccine developed by Swiss pharmaceutical Novartis. The local sample will include 784 Costa Ricans ages 3 to 64. Besides Costa Rica, this vaccine prototype will be tested also in Mexico and the United States. On August 11 was confirmed that Costa Rica's president, Oscar Arias Sanchez, was infected with the Ahonun virus, becoming the first head of state sick with the Ahonun virus. President Arias returned to his normal activities after one week of isolation at his home. Initial Outbreak The first confirmed case of influenza Ahonun in Costa Rica was announced on April 28 and was that of a young woman hospitalized in San Jose. On April 28, Minister of Health of Costa Rica, Maria Luisa Avila confirmed the second case, a 29-year-old man hospitalized at the Hospital San Vicente de Paul in Heredia. A national health emergency was announced. The Ministry of Health reported the existence of two new probable cases of swine flu in the country on the morning of May 2. These were a 53-year old man who had not traveled to Mexico in a hospital in San Jose and a 24-year-old woman who is recovering at home. These new patients brought the total number of Costa Ricans affected by the virus to four. Three are listed as probable cases, while one was duly confirmed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States. Four more cases were confirmed on May 4 by the Costa Rican Centro Nacional de Referencia and Virologia. All of these patients have recently traveled to Mexico. Since April 29, the Ministry of Health recommended to avoid travel to Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. as the number of confirmed cases by local authorities reached eight. On May 12, the Minister of Health announced that an alert was received from U.S. authorities informing that three members from a Boston chorus, Cantamundi, that traveled to several tourism places in Costa Rica during April, showed symptoms of a home nun flu after returning to the U.S. on May 13. Costa Rican health authorities announced four new probable cases. A couple of English-language newspapers questioned whether the chorus members had infected locals, or rather the Boston youngsters picked up the disease in Costa Rica, as the chorus flew directly from the United States to Costa Rica. Beginning May 20, probable cases are now confirmed locally by the Laboratorio de Virologia del Instituto Costa Rica de Investigación y Ensenanza en Nutrición y Salud Inchinsa, which now is in capacity to confirm the presence of the Ahonun virus in 24 hours. Previously, all samples had to be sent to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for confirmation. Among the 26 confirmed cases, until May 21, Six patients had contact with the Boston Chorus, and the Ministry of Health reported that all patients have a stable condition. July and August Contagion Surge As a result of a wave of new cases that occurred by early July, the Ministry of Health announced a new strategy to deal with this peak that resulted in increased deaths. Beginning July 11, 2009, testing for the virus will be conducted only on patients with risk factors and critical cases, including those with fever above 39 deg C and patients with respiratory difficulties, as the main objective now is to reduce mortality rather than avoid contagion. This policy means that statistics regarding the number of cases will no longer reflect the total number of actual cases. Also, mid-year school vacations were extended one week in order to curb contagion. On July 21, the Ministry of Health, in agreement with the Catholic Church, and in order to prevent a massive contagion, 
prohibited the traditional pilgrimage to the Basilica de Nuestra Senora de Los Angeles, Our Lady of the Angels Basilica, patroness of Catholic Costa Ricans. This pilgrimage takes places every year on August 1 since two preceding years ago, and this is the first time ever that is suspended. Health authorities estimate the risk of contagion in 20,000 people, as around 2 million pilgrims would have participated in this traditional religious event. On July 31, local authorities announced that the country was selected among the sample countries that will be part of the test of the vaccine developed by Swiss pharmaceutical Novartis. The local sample will include 784 Costa Ricans ages 3 to 64. Besides Costa Rica, this vaccine prototype will be tested also in Mexico and the United States. As of November 4, the Costa Rican Ministry of Health had 1596 confirmed cases, 1275 pending cases, 8,000 already discarded, and 38 deaths with an infection rate of 3,532 per 100,000 people. Deaths First deaths The Ministry of Health received confirmation on May 8 from the Centers for Disease Control of seven cases of infection with influenza a slash home nonvirus. Health Minister Maria Luisa Avila announced that these were three men, aged 24, 30, and 53, two women aged 20 and 25, two girls aged 4 and 11, and a boy aged, boy aged, aged, boy aged, aged, boy aged, 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 boy aged, 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 3. They are people who were in Mexico or had contact with travelers to that country, said the ministry. The 53-year-old man became the first fatality in Costa Rica, confirmed on May 9 by the Minister of Health. Out of the seven remaining cases confirmed by the U.S. Center for Disease Control, three were children infected by the patient who died, and their condition never was critical. Costa Rica became the fourth country in the world, after Mexico, the United States, and Canada, to confirm fatalities related to the influenza virus Ahonnun. The deceased man was suffering other chronic diseases. The Minister of Health informed he had diabetes and also was suffering from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease copped. She also informed the man was infected inside Costa Rica because he had not traveled to Mexico and that a total 51 persons were identified who had contact with the sick man, but only three turned out positive. The second fatality was a 35-year-old woman, and she died on June 23 less than 24 hours after arriving to the emergency room at a local hospital. The woman was suffering of hypertension and morbid obesity. A third patient died on June 29, a 55-year-old man who presented chronic obstructive pulmonary disease due to smoking. A 45-year-old woman was the fourth fatality. She died on July, July 4, the fifth death occurred on July 11. The patient was a 25-year-old woman pregnant with twins. Both five-month-old fetuses died hours before their mother did. The sixth fatality occurred on July 13, a 45-year-old man. This was the first patient to die who was not suffering any of the risk factors previously identified in other deceased patients. The seventh confirmed fatality was a 24-year-old man who smoked and suffered obesity. Current situation. As of October 15, health authorities had confirmed 38 fatalities, the last one having taken place in late September, and also the death of a Costa Rican woman in Nicaragua was also confirmed. The mortality rate is 0.85 deaths by 100,000 people, and the fatality rate is 2.48%. From all deceased patients, 47 0.3% occurred among San Jose residents, and only the Guanacaste province has not had any deaths related to the virus. The age of the deceased varies between 20 and 79 years, with an average age of 41 years. Until early September, the most frequent risk factors presented by the deceased patients are obesity 36.4%, diabetes 18.2%, asthma 18.2%, 
pregnancy 9.1%, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease 6.1%.